So as we know PWM stands for Pulse Width Modulation So given a fixed periodic pulse if I am able to vary the width of my pulse then this process of modulating the width which is this of my pulse is called as pulse width modulation now the ratio of the on time to the total period of my PWM signal is called as duty cycle so duty cycle is T on upon T total which is the total time which is T on upon T on plus T off. I hope that is clear. This is called as duty cycle. So for example, if I have a PWM signal which looks like this, then this would be 50% duty cycle. If I would have something like this, then I would say 90% duty cycle. You could even have something like this and still say that this is 90%. Now, how do you implement PWM using digital components? So, let's look at that. Now, if I have a digital counter which counts on every pulse of the clock edge and I have another register let's call it the compare register and it is loaded with a value and then if I use a digital comparator either greater than or less than now let's look at those cases so let's take an example if I have an 8-bit counter so it will count from 0 to 255 and then roll over to zero and for example in my compare register I keep the value as 100 and let's say that right now I'm saying that the comparator is greater than so if I say this is X and this is Y my output is 1 as long as X is greater than Y okay so let's say this starts from 0 so let's look at the output let's call this Z so if I plot Z When my counter is counting up from 0, so let's use the black signal. So from 0, my output Z is equal to 0 because X is less than Y. So up till the count value 99, 
it is still 0 when the count value reaches 100 it is still 0 when the count value is 101 when the counter value is 101 Z is now 1 so the signal goes high and until my count value reaches 255 Z stays at 1 after the counter rolls over to 0 again the output falls down and it starts the same thing again now for example if I don't use the value 100 but let's say I use the value 200 then until my counter reaches 200 my output is still 0 and then once at 201 it goes to 1 until 255 so you can see that by changing this compare register the value in the compare register I can actually vary the off time and the on time again the off time and the on time which is effectively my duty cycle so you can actually vary the width of the pulse using this compare register similarly if I use the less than function here so now this waveform gets inverted which is now it will be 1 for that much time and then it will be 0 similarly this will be 1 for that amount of time and it will be 0 so using a combination of the compare value and the type of comparator or comparison we can vary the pulse width now since your counter is 8 bits you will have 0 to 255 levels at which you can vary the pulse width suppose if your counter is 16 bits then you will have 0 to 2 raised to 16 minus 1 levels with which you can vary your PWM so this will give you a higher resolution so use 16 bits only if needed but most of the times 8 bits should suffice